This video will show and explain how to end your previous digital record and start the current digital record when an analogue record exists between the two periods. In this example we are using an old style Siemens digital tachograph where there is no unknown activity mode or the question mark icon available to you. Here we see the driver whose duty started at 0700 inserting his digital tachograph card at 0721. The current local time is displayed top left of the display screen. The operational mode icon is displayed top centre. The vehicle speed, currently 0 km an hour, is displayed top right. The current mode of operation for driver 1, on other work, crossed hammers, is displayed bottom left. The total kilometres the vehicle has travelled, bottom centre, and the mode for driver 2 is displayed bottom right. The driver has an analogue record for the previous day, which shows a driving trace from 1415 to 1600 on the front of the On the reverse of the chart, the driver has clearly noted a digital record exists from 0700 to 0930. As this is a digital record, no manual entry is required on the back of the chart for this period. The driver has also completed manual entries for the period between card ejection at 0945 and chart insertion at 1415 and again chart removal at 1600 to the end of his duty at 1730. To summarise, the driver will be inputting a digital manual entry for the period from 0925 on the 17th of the 3rd 14 to 0930 on the 18th of the 3rd 14 and then end that digital duty. He will then start the current digital duty, inputting a manual entry from 0700 on the 18th of the 3rd 14 to card insertion at 0721 on the 18th of the 3rd 14. Let's watch the whole process and see how it is done. The whole process took just 1 minute and 16 seconds. We will now look at each step. And After the card is inserted, the welcome screen will appear, displaying the current local time bottom left, note the local time icon after the time, and UTC time bottom right. Digital tachographs record in universal time coordinate, or UTC time. Remember that UTC time is the same as Greenwich Mean Time, so in winter months will be the same as local time in the UK, but in summer time UTC will be one hour behind British summer time. Newer models of digital tachographs may allow manual entries to be entered in local time rather than UTC time, so check to be sure. Once the tachograph has read the card and recognised the driver, the display will show the date and UTC time of the last withdrawal. The tachograph will now ask if a manual entry addition is required, and yes will be flashing bottom right on the display. The driver clicks OK on the menu pad to confirm he wants to input. The tachograph now displays the date and UTC time of the last card ejection on the bottom of the display and asks the question on the top of the display, was this the end of your shift? No will be flashing bottom right, 
click OK on the menu pad to confirm this was not the end of your day. Now the tachograph will display the date and UTC time of the last card ejection on the top line, the date of last card ejection and the time one minute on flashing on the bottom line. It is now asking the driver what time the next event ended. When inputting manual entries on older digital tachographs, you must enter them in UTC time. Remember to allow for the hours difference if the current local time is British summer time, i.e. one hour ahead of UTC. To change the time, press the arrow up on the menu pad until the time changes to the desired time, in this case 0930, then click. Now the mode icon will be flashing bottom right. Use the arrow up or down key on the menu pad to change to the correct mode of operation for the time event just entered. In this case, crossed hammers for other work. Then click OK to complete. The display will now ask again if this was the end of shift at 0930. Because the remainder of the 17th of the 3rd 14 is covered by an analogue record, we now click OK to confirm the end of this digital duty. The driver is then asked to confirm the end location and he confirms UK by clicking The display now asks begin and shows the current date and time which is flashing. The driver uses the arrow down button on the menu pad to change the time to 0715, the start of his duty, and clicks OK to confirm. The display now asks the driver to confirm his start location. The driver clicks OK to confirm you. The tachograph now shows the start date and time at the top of the display, with the date and one minute past the start time flashing at the bottom. The driver now uses the arrow up on the menu pad to change the time to the current time. Please note you cannot input any information for time that has not yet passed. The driver now clicks OK to confirm. The mode icon is now flashing and the driver clicks OK to confirm the mode of other work, crossed hammers, for the manual entry just in. The display now asks the driver to confirm the manual entries he has just inputted. If he has made a mistake, he can use the arrow up down button on the menu pad to change the flashing yes to no and click OK. He will then be able to redo the manual entries. In this case, the driver is happy with his entries so clicks OK to confirm. The tachograph is now in operational mode and the driver can continue with his Please note there are a number of different types of digital tachograph available and each one will have slightly different methods of inputting manual entries. Thank you for watching and I hope you have found this video helpful. There are handouts also available if you would like them.